The image you see right here has been my desktop wallpaper for quite some time now. A few weeks ago I decided that I want to try to replicate this landscape in Blender. I was really motivated and started right away. But soon after I realized that this is much harder than I initially thought and I run into some issues when trying to create this big forest. So I gave up and went on with some other projects. Until recently I came across this add-on on the Blender market which is designed for creating large scale forests and I decided to give it another try. The Alpha Trees add-on enables you to render scenes with millions of trees extremely fast. This is possible since it scatters tree cards instead of the actual meshes. Tree cards are simple planes with the desired tree mapped onto them. But they are more than just images on planes. They contain 5 different maps to make the tree look more realistic and not just like a flat image. Those maps are bound into a very sophisticated material setup which can be customized with lots of controls in the add-on panel. You can quickly change all the colors, set the amount of leaves or make it a dead tree. All those values can be randomized so that every tree in the forest looks individual. You can even add fake snow onto them. The Alpha Tree add-on already provides a few great trees, but it also includes an awesome tool to convert any tree model you have into a tree card. This process is very fast and intuitive. You even have the possibility to convert multiple trees at once which can save you a lot of time. Another thing I really appreciate is the Botanic integration. If you already have the Botanic add-on, you can directly import and convert the high quality trees from the library. Otherwise, you could use the free and pre-installed sapling tree add-on to create your own trees. Watch last week's video if you want to learn how to use this to create a tree from scratch. To scatter the trees and make the actual forest, the add-on provides a very easy to use menu to create the particle system and gives you the ability to customize everything. Another great feature is the possibility to add weight maps to control the density and height of the trees. Most of the tree properties are randomized to make the forest look natural. You'll also get 5 pre-installed particle presets that you can play around with. It is also possible to create and save your own presets. Concluding, I can say that I have become a big fan of the Alpha Trees add-on. I love how easy and intuitive it is to use. This tool gives you everything that you need for creating large-scale forests in Blender without any problems. The add-on is still pretty new but already very powerful. If you are interested in getting it, check the link in the description. That's it for this video. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.